So during a lot of my Twitch streams, I'm constantly asked by people, why am I stuck at the same difficulty level in rhythm games? It's a great question to ask, honestly, and I really haven't seen any videos that talk about this, so I figured why not make one myself? Today we're going to be going over the top 5 reasons why you are stuck at the same skill level in rhythm games. Just a quick reminder that these are only my personal opinions, so feel free to leave a comment down below some other reasons that you think can keep a player stuck in the same range of skill. With that said, let's just jump right into it. Reason number one. You are playing the same small pool of charts and are never branching out to try new things. I wanted to start this list off with arguably one of the most common problems I have personally seen throughout the years of being involved in rhythm games. As I said before, many players have personally asked me what they can do to up their skill in these games and the solution is not what most players expect to hear. Playing the same step charts over and over again will only get you so far in the game. You need to start selecting different songs and different charts. If you don't, you will never grow as a player. I can promise you that if you play every chart in any rhythm game that is within your skill level, you will naturally be better by the time you are done playing them all. Reason number two. You are building bad muscle memory and not learning from your mistakes. Next up is a problem many players in rhythm games actually don't realize is hurting them more than it helps them, and that is playing the same chart multiple times in a row. Now I can admit that I'm very guilty of grinding out songs myself, but this is only an issue if you are building incorrect muscle memory while doing so. Whether you are grinding out a song to achieve a personal best or attempting to beat a world record, any player can make mistakes over and over again. This issue happens when the player is consistently messing up and won't take a step back to actually analyze their performance or watch the chart on YouTube to find out why they keep messing up that one part. My advice is to take a step back after a while and come back to that song another time, or maybe even go down a level and try to fine tune your skill. I promise it will help you in the long run. Number 3. You are not watching charts on YouTube. I just mentioned in the last one that watching charts on YouTube is a good way to figure out why you make mistakes, but it is also very crucial to do this because it gives you something very powerful. Knowledge. Knowing what to expect in charts is very important and it will allow you to prepare for certain sections in charts that can be difficult or tricky. Search up certain charts and throw the videos into your own YouTube playlist and watch them whenever you have downtime. I personally watch charts when I am taking the day off for rhythm games so that even on my off days I'm still putting in work. Number 4. You are not going into your sessions with a goal in mind. This is kind of another one that a lot of rhythm game players don't really think about, but it is very important that you have a plan when you are having a serious rhythm game session. What is your goal for the day? Are you trying to full combo something? Get a new clear? How about getting a pass on the next difficulty level up? Whatever your goal is, go into your session knowing what it is that you want to do. Warm up properly for it and get started once you feel physically and mentally ready. If you just aren't able to reach that goal that you had, take a breather and play lower end stuff for fun. You are only human, you will make mistakes and have off days, and that's okay. Number 5. You are more focused on impressing the crowd around you at the arcade and you are not trying to push yourself. Last on the list is the one that some people may take the wrong way, so I need to be upfront with you all about this. I am not referring to players that are just having fun with the game. I'm talking about the same people that claim they want to get better or become competitive in any rhythm game, but they are too busy showing off in front of a crowd at the arcade by playing songs that they know very well and are very comfortable with. It's okay to have fun and enjoy yourself, but don't ask players for help on how to get better, then constantly pull this shit almost every time foot traffic picks up at your local arcade. That's all for today. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you're interested in rhythm games, be sure to follow me on Twitch. The link to that is in the video description. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.